another day here in the YouTube world. Finally, and I mean finally, I've got good weather, the car is ready for paint, so today is the day. And I want to give thanks to God because He gave me a beautiful weekend to get this done. We were just talking about that in the last video, and I praise God that I've got great two days, actually three, but I'm going to get it done in two hopefully, two days to get this job done. It's perfect weather, it's not too buggy, everything is right. So let's get started. Just so you all know what's going on, right here you can see this carpet. What I did is I took old carpet and some moving blankets I got over here and I saturated them with water. And the reason I do that is to keep the dust down. Now, you'll see there's a little puddle here. I tried wetting the floor down, but it was warm out, so it's, it's kind of evaporated pretty quick. But by putting blankets here, it keeps everything wet, and that way, no dust. And that's kind of the method to my madness. I also put the car up on the lift. That way, I'm getting it up off the floor, so when I'm spraying down low, which is not going to happen today, but it will tomorrow, I start spraying down low, I'm not kicking up dust again. So between the carpets, being up on the lift, we're going to go ahead and get started. Y'all get a little bit of a treat today. My daughter's going to be helping me. What we're going to do starting today, we're going to do the stripes. That was the surprise I was holding from you. i got a couple other things in store for this car, but the stripes is what I'm trying to keep from y'all. We're going to go ahead and put some dual stripes going down the front of this and on the back. Chevrolets, we don't do the roof. I know, that's just a Chevy thing. Uh, Mopars and everybody else, they put them across the roof, but... Whatever reason, Chevy never did. So we're going to follow the typical Chevy way of doing things. We're going to put two double lines going down the hood, two double lines going across the back. Of course, there is no trunk, as we know. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Just hang with us and watch. It's going to just be music because not a lot to be saying while I'm doing it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start this, go over, stand in front of the car and make sure I'm in the center here. Look center. Uh, yeah. Like in the dead center of the car? Yep. Okay, yeah. No, it'll be easy because we have this point. Are we doing it all the way down? Almost. I 
haven't decided if I'm going to go. I haven't decided if I'm going to taper. I think these scoops taper just a tad. So come on over here and you can hold this one. Tape will do the rest. Okay, so let's get some tape. We'll do this side first so we can see it easier. So we're just going to put the tape. Get down there, go ahead and down there. You're going to eyeball this one. Alright, I'm going to lay the tape right on that mark. We want to stay with the scoop on this. So, the scoop is. We're gonna have to eyeball this one. So let's do that and see what just looks best. You know what you could do? Do it like how they do on those other cars where they make it come down. Go put your finger on that so it doesn't come off. I'm just gonna do my best Water. to follow the scoop. So now what we have to do is we have to measure the distance. We'll go ahead and use the hood line because that way it's, we're on the same line on both sides. We're going to use the hood line to see how far we are from here to here on the stripe because they do taper a little bit. So we want to see where we're at. Now our, we're going to end the stripes down in here somewhere. Okay, we'll figure that out in a minute. But let's, we're going to go ahead and measure there. Where did we put the tape measure right here? Need the spectacles. Put that in the video. <laughs> and I probably will. I may use the sound back. Okay, so we'll just put that on there into there, and we're at nine and a quarter and one eighth. So what is that? Nine three eighths, I think it is. Nope. Yeah, three eighths. So nine and a quarter, which is basically nine and a quarter and one eighth. How's that? <laughs> so could you do you have that pen? Alright. So over there. Using a blue pen on a purple car wasn't. Yeah, too uh, actually, go. So, no. <laughs> so we're gonna go okay. nine and a quarter, and one eighth. <laughs> I'm gonna put me right. Put the mark right at my top about my touch my fingernail against the car. Okay. 
Tốc 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 tưới được kia. Không. Mà sợ nó cái này. Alright. Can see that one. Here, can you see that mark up there? Go ahead and put that white mark on the center, on top of that other one, so we can I can actually see it. All right. So we're going to set this on the outside over there. Good. Oh my gosh, it's actually blue now. Look. Okay. Oh crap. This one. Your marker is blue now. Okay, so we're going to make this. Do I still make this or do I open it back? Right there. No. Let's get the tape measure and make sure I'm in the right place here. Uh, just hang on to it. Put it in here. Or just put it somewhere where you won't lose it. Painting on top of a mm -hmm. top of a lift. This is a new thing for me. So we're supposed to be at nine and a half, right? I am pretty darn close to nine and a half. Yeah, I'm a tiny bit off. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Off. There we go. Okay, I need you down the other end. So, hold, put your finger right there on that corner. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. We're going to go to this. good on the scoop, but for whatever reason, no, we're going up the scoop a little bit more on that one. So let's try that again. Pull that back over the finger there. You know why? I think you're closer up here on that side. You're right up against right here. No, I, I measured it. It's right on. Okay. So I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to trust my markings. Here's the only problem is now you're completely covering right here. Well, I don't know if you but I think... Way. There's about a quarter, let's see, about my fingers with going to the top of the scoop there. You, you're my, touching it with your hands. I think it's I think it's right. Okay. It's just the way the I don't know. Because where's the No, because see look at this. The scoop's still coming up here. No, we're on the scoop. So okay. So something's amiss. Either that or I'm not straight here. I'm not straight here, look. Oh, yeah, you're not. I'm not straight here. That's the problem. Okay. Take two. I don't know why I did, didn't do that. That would have made more sense. Okay, so that's where our problem is. I don't know if I'm even in the center up there. I'm going to find out in a minute. Just measure it with the quarterback thing. Hold on. That's more like it. So we're going to go nine and a quarter. Ah, now. That's better.
three quarters. Keep in mind that we're only putting, we're only laying the outside of the stripes right now. This is not going to be the, the whole stripe. We're going to paint all this the color of the stripe. And then, once we paint this color of the stripe, we're going to take all this off. And tomorrow, we will actually lay out the stripes. And then, that, that will be the configuration of the stripes. So this is just going to be the outer portion of the stripes right here. And that's what we're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and just overlap these. We're going to follow the contour of the car. Why don't you measure where that ends and then mark it? No, it's because this part's going to be on our ball. Okay. There we go there. What is this? Speed? Okay, now these are going to be curved. All right, right here we got a sharp corner. Now, I don't want to put a sharp corner because when we go ahead and lay the main color, I'm going to end up with a little ridge there. And I don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece of tape and we're just going to cut the corner like so. And we're going to do that on all the corners and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Exacto knife, washer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a radius on these stripes. So I put a cross piece of tape here, and then I just take my washer and I lay the washer between the two pieces of tape because I can see through it. And so just kind of lay it in there, trace it out. So, and that's not really the way I wanted it, but Let's see if I can salvage it. We'll do that one again. So, scratch what I just did and start over. We'll do it on this one. All right, yeah, you can see that one a little better. Okay. go now we got a radius and that's what we're looking for we've got a little bit of a radius there shape it a little bit all right same thing over here
we go. That's how we get our radiuses. And that's how we're going to do, do it on all. This is by far the most exciting part. This is only the beginning stages. We still have to do the main color. We still have to mask the stripes off the way they're going to be. Right now, this is what I call a rough draft. Got the white down for the stripes, so it's actually vanilla colored. And now I have to run the way they're going to look. And then when we do the main color over the stripes, the stripes will be masked off. And then when we peel it off, that's going to be the moment of truth. This came out rather well. I can't say that, you know, considering it's a budget paint job and I didn't strip the whole car, it actually looked pretty darn good. I was a little nervous because I felt the paint was pretty much dry-ish, you know, to the touch anyway. The way to check is you just touch the paper and or the tape and that'll tell you if it's touched, if you can touch it. Uh, I put it up on the lift, drove all my other cars back in the shop for the night because it was getting late and I, as I opened that big door, the bugs just woof. It was, I was like, no, right? Got visions of little bug tracks and dead bugs inside the paint and everything. And I even saw before I put it up one or two that were actually on the paint. And I wasn't sure if they were stuck in it or if they were just, you know, because the smell will kill them, you know, the, the fumes. So you end up with a bunch of dead bugs everywhere. So anyway, I got up this morning. I come out here now and I looked and none of them are stuck. 
So I was pretty happy with that. No stuck bugs, no bug tracks, no nothing. I had the one that I did see, I just brushed it off. Everything's good. So now the moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and pull this masking off and see how good of a job I did on masking. And my daughter too, because she was helping. I don't know if she's going to help today. She might. But we'll get this and we're going to mask off the stripes again, but the opposite way. And then we're going to do the main color. And I only have one quart of paint. I kind of underestimated the amount of paint I might need to do this car. Cause didn't expect to do as much as I did. And uh, so we may run out of paint. Let's hope not. Uh, I'm going to try to be as sparing as I can, get everything touched up, and I'm going to try to hopefully get one coat on everything. Not the bottom or just, just the areas, you know, but the top, the whole top, so everything blends real nice. So this is going to be an adventure. This is uh, going to see just how well I did calculating the amount of paint. I didn't really expect to do the whole rear quarter on the top and a good portion of the hood. The stripes took up a little bit. Let's just find out. The only way we're going to find out is to do it. So let's get started. One of the things that I kind of did on purpose is if you'll notice I, I broke the tape line at the windshield. And that's because I'm going to leave all this stuff on the roof because that's not getting painted. Right? So we're just going to go ahead, bugs, ah, we're just going to go ahead and take all this off the hood because the only thing that's going to get masked are the, are the stripes. And then I'm going to leave all the top half. Anything that's not getting painted is going to remain. I'm going to leave the paper on it. So since it's already done, why waste time? Hopefully I won't have a lot of crud. I'll hopefully be able to just brush it off. And these bugs are just wanting to get in the job. So anyway, let's get started pulling the tape off. And see what we got. When you get to the part where, you know, you're pulling it off the the part of the hood where the, the tip, you want it to go kind of easy because you don't want to pull the paint up, obviously, right? And hopefully we've got good hands on it. And what I'm seeing, we got, it's sticking. We got, I didn't think I got a couple of spots here where the, either I didn't do a good job or the uh, bugs got in there. But I've got to kind of overlook the flaws because this was not, you know, I didn't do anything here and I don't plan on it, so, and this is, you know, but I'm just going to drive this car, I just want it decent, not bubbles in the paint, so, here we go, and I'm leaving this part in real time, just because, you know, but just, just because. Can speed it up. Yeah, I might. Back. You know what? I think I might do that. So this will be the last thing I say because I'm going to speed it up from here. So this will be a little bit of a surprise because the stripes got to go on the back too. So I'm going to peel the back and let y'all watch that. And uh, I think sometimes, you know, because this is what people are going to see when I'm driving. They're going to be behind me. Hey, nobody, well, they might see you in a rearview mirror too, but uh, this is really the, what most people view. Uh, so you want the back of the car to look good. Big fatties, you know, big fat tires and the cool stripes in the back. 
And then I've got some more surprises, but you'll have to wait to see those. So hang in there. Let's go ahead and peel this one. put some color on the car, got the stripes all masked off, and I just tested a little spot on the way down the bottom to make sure the color looked right, and it did look like it did a job. So I'm going to go ahead and make one quart sprayable. The way this is mixed is it's going to be eight and four, if that makes any sense. Eight parts one, four parts the other. Oh, my bad. I think it's four to four. That's right. Uh, four to four. So it's basically, I think it's four to four and a half. So you're going to put just a tad more paint than you are. Uh, don't ask me where I got the eight to four. Uh, so basically, I'm going to use a half quart and then a half quart ish of reducer. This is a medium reducer. It's meant to uh, be used in like 85 degrees to 70. Ish, 70 to 85 ish uh, and it's right around 80 degrees today so it's perfect and I just saw a bug go uh, you know don't have a boot even with boots sometimes you get bugs but nonetheless I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing paint and we're gonna put a little color on this and I only bought a quart I'm not sure that was too smart I didn't expect to have all of that so what I'm gonna do my method my madness is I'm going to hit the areas that have no color right now Try to get them to cover so everything's the same color. And hopefully, I'm going to get at least one coat over the entire top of the car. That is my goal. Whether we make it or not, I don't know. If we can at least cover up the primer, we've got a half a chance of it coming out okay. Otherwise, I'm going to be back to the store buying more paint and starting all over. So let's hope. I apologize if you can't hear too good. I got the fans going. And so this goes 24 ounces. So if I go 12 ounce of paint, well, I'm actually going to go. Well, that's the rule. I need to put a filter in there. There we go. What filter?
Page two. We got the stripes are still underneath there somewhere. We got two coats of clear on here. Because one coat, I just wasn't liking it. I didn't cover the whole car, so I went ahead and did a second coat and got the whole car covered. But now I still have what you can't see is I'm masked off on the corners over here on the side. And I guess I can show you that. I still have to clear over the stripes and the cars because right now you'd be able to feel a little pit line between the stripes and the color. So once I take all the paper off, I'm going to go ahead and clear the entire car, stripes and all, with three coats of clear. That ought to make the clear old about this deep, I would hope. No, probably not quite. But there's two on here now. As you can see, she's looking pretty shiny. Uh, so once I get three more on top of this, I should get rid of all the little pit lines between the stripes and the paint and the regular part of the body. It should dress the car up. I didn't plan on doing this originally, but I'm glad I did. Make a big difference. It's a lot better. That's just clear. I actually didn't touch up the paint at all on the front. But it brought it right out there. So anyway, I don't know that I'm going to risk taking the paper off right now. Just because it's really fresh, and with my luck, I'll stick a big old handprint right in the middle. So I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow. But stay tuned for tomorrow, because, you know, tomorrow will be a minute for you guys. And we're going to go ahead and finish this paint job up. touch-ups we're gonna scuff the whole car again and then we're gonna touch up the areas that need touching up and then psh, we're gonna clear the entire car make it all uniform and that'll be that see you tomorrow as wrong as it feels I have to sand this again and the reason being is we have to put clear coat over all of this so that you don't feel these ridges between the stripes and the natural color. And I got a few little spots that when I pulled the tape up, uh, I lost some of the paint. I didn't scuff it good enough last time. And that's my fault. Uh, so I've got a couple of areas in the white that I have to touch up. And we're going to do all that. And then we're going to sand it all down again. And then we're going to, well, I'll probably just use a scuff pad most of it. Unless I found a flaw, like I found a couple spots where there were some pretty good flaws in there, and I'm going to go ahead and I'll use the 400 for those. And I'm going to clear the whole thing again. The good thing about it is I bought 
uh, Transstar Clear. Now, I've used it in the past. It's super cheap. I think I mentioned this before. But it works beautiful. It's very user-friendly. So, and it was 80 bucks, 79 dollars a gallon. You know, and I think it's like another 40 bucks for the, for the hardware, but you know, still. Considering I paid three to four hundred dollars for some chroma base, which is a top notch, you know. Of course, there's some even better than that, but and this stuff works just as good. So anyway, I did get a run on this. Ooh, it's a bad one too. So we're gonna sand that out, and uh, well, that's not too bad, I guess. It's more of a sag, but anyway, because it was upside down, so we're gonna put this right side up when I finish it. But nonetheless, whatever. This is the mirror passenger side. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to sand this thing down again, which, and then retape it so that the roof is exposed because we're going to put clear on the roof. That way the whole car kind of matches because right now it's a little, not quite as shiny on the bottom. But it's going to sand. It's going to hurt. This is going to hurt because it looks really nice right now. Uh, but it's what we got to do and try to kill as many bugs as I can before we get started. I was very fortunate. I don't have any bugs that I can see in there. I got a little bit of trash. But no bugs, and that's amazing. But uh, that's why I've been keeping the door shut, putting the fans. When I do open it, I put the fans in there to keep air movement. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it, considering it's a budget paint job. I'm probably not into this paint job for 400 bucks. That's pretty darn cheap, really. That's including Bondo and products and primer and uh, paint and clear. It's like 400 bucks. So if you're looking for cheap old paint job, this ain't bad. You know what I mean? Hey, anyway, let's get started. This is exciting. This is the final coat. Everything's wiped down. Everything's masked. It has to be masked. We're ready to put the last coat of clear on. The last three coats of clear. This is what we call a tack rag. And the tack rag is just what it sounds like. It's a rag that's tacky. And what it does is it picks up any lint or dust that may be sitting on the car before we spray. So I'm getting ready to do this right now. And then we paint it.
my excitement, the battery died, so I had to, I gotta leave her running for the rest of this video. But there it is in all its glory. Finally finished. Well, the sun's probably gonna get your eyes here. So we'll give you a nice walk around on it. Hopefully the sun won't, won't ruin it for you. Of course, when I clean her up and get everything, get everything the way I want it, There you go. Moths. Ugh. You start to hate bugs when you start trying to paint your car in your garage. You start just having like this attitude for bugs. <laughs> there she is, folks. Hope you approve. I think she looks a lot better than she did. That's it, folks. That's the end of a very long, tedious job, work, fun. I don't know what you would call it. But it took, I started this project last fall. And here it is, September again. It took that long. Of course, it sat quite a while in the wintertime because I can't paint in the cold weather. But I ran her out as long as I could. And I'll be honest, she kept bubbling up underneath the primer. And I kept having to fight it and fight it. And I had to scratch it the harder and harder. You had to get below that gel coat. That was the secret. But I hope you like the way she turned out. I'm happy with it. I made a couple of boogers. After I was taking the paper off, I was, you don't even want to know. But... She's a driver, so I'm happy with it nonetheless. I hope you all approve. Put it in the comments if you like it. If you think it looks terrible, yeah, do that too, because you know, everybody's got an opinion. Personally, my car, I'm happy with it. Do me a favor, if you like this video and all my other ones, please subscribe, help the guy out. Until the next one, have a good one.